Today's video is sponsored by Dashlane, the easy and convenient way to keep all of your passwords safe and secure, including the one you use to gain remote access to your electric car. New for Dashlane is its upgraded premium and premium plus tiers, giving you unlimited password storage, unlimited syncing between devices, one gigabyte of secure file storage, dark web monitoring, and my favorite, a personal VPN to protect your browsing on all your devices. Click on the link in the description or head to dashlane.com and use the promo code TRANSPORTEVOLVED to get a 10% discount off the premium subscription. Got a Tesla electric car with one of those car-shaped key fobs? Turns out that, just like many other cars on the market today, it's pretty easy for criminals armed with the right tools to steal your prized possession without ever having physical access to that key. The worst bit? It's a security flaw that's part of the keyless entry system hardware provided to Tesla by a third party. And when I tell you what the problem is, you'll wonder why Tesla even opted to use this tech when it first designed the Model S. But don't worry, after I've explained the problem, I'll tell you what Tesla's done to rectify it and how you can make sure your car stays safe too. And I should probably caution here that this flaw isn't uncommon in the auto industry. In fact, it's been exploited plenty of times in the past on other vehicles as well. To start, we need to head to Belgium, where a team of researchers at the KU Leuven University have just announced they plan to present a paper to the Hardware Embedded Systems Conference in Amsterdam next month, detailing the security flaw. After examining and reverse engineering the car's security systems for several months, the team of researchers discovered that Tesla was using a 40-bit cipher. That's a type of encryption with a total of two to the 40th possible keys to secure the car's keyless entry and ignition system. At one point in history, 40-bit keys were considered pretty strong. For example, a home computer from 2004 could brute force a 40-bit key in just under two weeks. If you were a thief trying to gain access to a car's keyless entry system with that kind of wait time, well, the chances are the car will have moved long before you even found the access codes. But as computers have become more and more powerful, 40-bit encryption has become no match for processor power from today. For example, most security professionals recommend a minimum of 256-bit or even 512-bit encryption for modern security purposes, which brings us nicely back to those security researchers from Belgium. They started by pre-building a massive 6-terabyte database containing all the possible key combinations the 40-bit key system might have. It took some time, but it was done away from the car. Six terabytes, in case you were wondering, is about as much space as it would take to store 240 Blu-ray movies at original quality. Next, the researchers used a special radio transmitter receiver pair to trick the car's key fob into believing it was near to the car. When that happened, the key fob woke up and began trying to connect to the car by emitting a series of encoded transmissions. With this massive database in tow, the researchers only needed to record two transmissions from the key fob, allowing them to compare those transmissions to the pre-computed keys in the 6 terabyte database in just 1.6 seconds. That's less than the time it takes a P100D to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour. And we know how quick they are. If you're worried, I can understand. After all, Tesla has always prided itself on great hardware and software in its vehicles. Picking a third-party keyless entry module that was outdated when Tesla first designed the Model S seems a little sloppy. Then again, so too have other car companies. It's a little like making all of your passwords password. Luckily, though, you don't have to make your passwords that insecure thanks to Dashlane. It's the best way to keep your online life secure by helping you create and store strong, unique passwords for every single website that you visit. I've been using Dashlane for a while now, so I'm really happy that they've decided to sponsor this video. I love the way that Dashlane seamlessly integrates with my computer's browser. It even automatically logs in for both my computer and my smartphone. And with Dashlane Premium, you also get unlimited password storage, unlimited syncing between devices, one gigabyte of secure file storage, dark web monitoring, and your very own secure VPN for every device you use. So what are you waiting for? Follow the link to below, which is dashlane.com forward slash transport evolved to try Dashlane for yourself or head to Dashlane Dashlane.com to make sure that you never forget another password. Of course, making your My Tesla password as secure and as unique as possible is one great way to ensure that people you don't know can't get access to your prized electric car. But if news of that 40-bit encryption key has you worried, then you'll be pleased to know Tesla is already on the case.
Having discovered the bug, the Belgian researchers approached Tesla and informed it of the flaw. As you probably know, Tesla prides itself on high security features and its crack team of security professionals have already come up with a solution in the form of an optional PIN code that you can enter on your car's touchscreen display before you can drive. This means that even if a criminal gets access to your key fob, your Tesla won't be going anywhere if they don't know the PIN code. For newer cars, Tesla has also ditched the old 40-bit encryption key module and has replaced it with one that's far, far stronger making it a lot harder for criminals to clone your car's key. Is there anything else you can do? Well, aside from using a secure, unique password, make sure you keep your Tesla key fob somewhere where it can't easily be spoofed, so not in a bowl by the front door, and turn on Tesla's passive entry mode, which requires you to physically double tap your key fob before it unlocks the door. In short then, yes, there was a security flaw, but it seems that Tesla just like every other automaker who has similar problems, is on the case. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Subscribe to both of our channels, and if you fancy it, support us by using one of the two links below or by buying something from our shop. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep evolving.